what is going on youtube you'll pay for this i'm back here with yet another food review sponsored by yours truly it's sponsored by me this time yeah that's right uh you guys are sponsoring too much of uh, bad food too much fast food i got we got to slow it down got to calm it down with this ill-fitting shirt that's what i'm talking about okay so today we are reviewing a uh, bowl noodle soup uh, savory lobster artificial flavor. That sounds pretty good, huh? Uh, I bought this about a week ago. Don't want to throw it away, and I'm just going to eat some of it and toss the rest. Well, whatever. Down my throat. Okay, so we're going to open up this bad boy. Now, when I um, normally am on a regular diet where I just kind of eat whatever I want, but I'm constantly going to the gym, I don't eat a lot of top ramen, but I always have that craving for that salt. Uh, maybe I'll eat top ramen like maybe once or twice a month, if that. So, here's the thing with me. Got my hot water from the store. So, I'm going to put it right there. Fill it up. Now, I don't like my noodles overdone. I like them still kind of hard. So, we're going to let that marinate for the next um, three to five minutes. And while we're doing that... I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to talk about while it's cooking. So let's just talk about something random. I can come up with anything random. I can just be like, and you guys will be entertained, right? <laughs> so on my other channel, the Black Bigot channel, I normally, I, I, I don't like go through my comments like crazy i'll scour through them see what catches my eye if there's a particular video that i did like a troll video like that doji cat i'll read every comment so there was another video i was scouring through the comments uh and then uh i think it was a a, a, a video where i was talking shit about edp talking that i was you know better than him or something i don't think i know that but i you know i actually am between me and you guys uh way way funnier than him Anyways, so he most of his subscribers are a bunch of they're either twelve or future school shooters. Like he has no adults as subscribers. They're all like twelve, thirteen year old like shit brains. So this one kid, he's talking shit to me, right? Whatever. And sometimes you know they're like troll names or whatever. But this was his real name. His name was Day Tuan, D A Y T W O N. I think his channel was called Day. I think he had like a vlog channel, like Daytuan Vlog or Daytuan something. And I said, Daytuan? This can't be a real name. I don't believe I've ever even heard of that. Daytuan, D-A-Y-T-W-O-N. So I click on this thing. I said, this can't, this can't really be a real, this got to be a troll name. And I go to his channel real quick and I clicked on one video for 10 seconds. And damn sure enough, he said, hey, my name is Daytuan and uh, blah, 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 blah. I said, your motherfucking name is Daytuan. Daytuan. <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering this. Now, I don't know if he's ghetto. I don't know if he's hood. I don't know if he's just a normal nerd. I don't know nothing about him. I didn't care. But if your name is Daytuan or... You have like a ghetto ass black ass name. You got to be very careful about how you present yourself, especially when you're going to a job interview, because people are going to look at that. And I'm going to I'm not going to lie. My name is Lamont. Uh, now, if I if I put out an application as a truck driver or, you know, a serious job, I'm going to put my real name. I don't you know, because those jobs are going to be lowbrow. People don't really want those jobs anyways. But this is kind of funny. When I, say if I'm passing through a town, back in the day when I would have to go to work at McDonald's or a restaurant or what have you, um, I would not put my name. I wouldn't put Lamont. I would put uh, L and then Anthony and then my last name because, you know, when they see Lamont on the application, you know, they're probably thinking, oh, this guy's going to be black. He's going to be a problem. He's, this is a ghetto name. Lamont isn't a ghetto name. Lamont is a black name. It's a black name, but it's very rarely used. Uh, my mom named me after the character from Sanford and Son. She liked the name Lamont, so that's what she named me. And I love my name. I'm not, I'm, I'm not ashamed, ashamed of my name. I mean, I, I can't say I'm proud of it because I didn't have any choosing of of what my name was going to be. If I if I could choose my own name, my name would be Ralph, R A L F, Ralph. Just I just love that name. 
So yeah, my name is Lamont. Um, anyways, it's already been what uh, two, three minutes. So we're gonna give it another minute, and then we're gonna we're gonna do the review. But uh, yeah, if that little if that little fucking homo is watching, yeah, bro, don't ever put Daytuan on your fucking application, you little sack of shit stain. Because no one is calling a Daytuan back for an interview. I promise you, they ain't fucking with you. I mean, unless it's like a warehouse job, and they're like, yeah, well, we we don't care if it's a Daytuan or a Daydante. Or whatever, but I'm just wondering. I'm wondering in the black community when is the uh, whole ghettoization, the whole bastardization of black names gonna end? It's gotta end someday. You can't, you, you can't get shot by the police, and then the shooting ruled a justifiable homicide when your name is uh, Daytarius. Daytarius. When your name is Daytarius and you got shot by the police, you automatically already did something wrong and the cop was in the right. That's just my personal opinion. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, but I know I'm right. Let me check this. Uh, the water's not that hot, which is really going to piss me the fuck off. You know, I got the I got the water out of the machine. Let me see. Is it hot? Yeah, we'll give it a... We'll give it a... Yeah, it's like... It's like barely hot enough to even fucking cook it damn it are you guys still watching this damn sorry guys i didn't know this was gonna um this might be a waste of a video but you know what i'm gonna upload it anyways yeah but and then i gotta look for a fork because i'm totally not prepared so we're gonna let it soak for another minute and then we're gonna go ahead and dive in as i like to as i like to just dive on in things but uh yeah, the whole ghetto name thing, I don't know. Maybe I should talk about it on my other channel because it's just true. You know, I mean, you know, to me, when I hear a, a, a black dude with a ghetto ass name, the first thing that comes to my mind is there can't be a, is there a dad in the household that let the mother name him that? Because I'm thinking these mothers, these moms are fucking naming these kids, these fucking ghetto ass names. Hey, they don't Get your motherfucking ass in here now, nigga. All right, let's see if this shit is... Okay, so this is as good as it's going to get. So now what we're going to do is... I'm going to dump the water out while it's raining on me. Because I don't, I don't like really a lot of water. Shit. Okay, very good. And I'm going to open up my seafood ramen salt packet. Try not to use all of it. About half of it. And then enough water to kind of mix it together, you know, not too much, but just enough. And so something weird about me, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't chew my noodles. You guys are going to notice it when I eat it. I'm not going to chew them. I'm just going to swallow it. And then hopefully nothing will get stuck in my throat and I'll choke. Okay. I'm just kind of embarrassed the way I eat noodles. I eat like noodles the way Trisha Paytas does. I just don't, I don't swallow. I just... And then I was watching her video, and they're like, oh, my God, Trish, why don't you swallow them? You're swallowing it. Why don't you chew it? It's like, shut up, bitch. You don't know what the fuck we go through. We're fucking hungry. We're large, and we're hungry in charge. Well, she's not large, but I am. She's a little chubber, though. She's a little chubbat. You know, it's, it's, between me and you, I don't like talking about Trisha Paytas on my channel because I don't want people to think I'm trying to fucking ride off her coattails. She looks way the fuck better when her hair, when she's not wearing extensions and her lips aren't overdone. I don't know if she realizes that, but I think she should. If, if her lips are naturally like that and then she blows them up, I think she should just keep them natural. And then she has like that curly kind of, what's that called, hair? Wavy or some shit. That She looked good right there. All right, here we go. Yeah, I don't chew my noodles because it's, it's, it's weird. It tastes weird. And if you watch this video after 10 minutes, wow, you guys really like me. See, that was what Trisha does, though. She'll make, like, a, a video for 20 minutes just talking about randomness. And sometimes I'll watch it at the gym. I'll just kind of listen to it as a podcast. So maybe that's what you guys are doing with me. I have no idea. Okay. I think the thumbnail should be this. 
Let me see which which one will look better. The, the let's see. How about this one for a thumbnail? I don't know. Why did I do the thumbnail during the video? I usually just watch the video and then do the thumbnail. So I probably do like this. Anyway, it's just like all ramen products. It's all salt, all salt, no action. I give it a, um, I'll throw the rest away. I mean, I practically ate the whole fucking thing. The fuck you looking at, asshole? I hate when people like look at me while I'm just fucking in the parking lot. The fucking, you know what I hate? Okay, because I'm in this parking lot and it's uh, it's an abandoned mall. And I hate, I hate when people don't park correctly when they're at an abandoned mall. Like, you know, because it's, like, pretty much wide open. And every, everyone has, like, a lane. And they, instead of parking like this, these assholes are parking like this. I fucking hate that shit. I wish, I wish, yeah, I'm not going to. All right, guys, I got to get out of here. Thank you for watching my review. I give it a seven. Thumbs up, kids. All right, catch up with you later. Peace out.